What's up, YouTube? My name is Gray, and we are here with a brand new series, Pokemon Uranium. I am so, so excited for this. I've heard only good things about this game. The internet exploded with this game a while back, and I managed to get my hands on it, and I am so excited. You can probably tell my voice is breaking up a little bit, but that's because I am recording this, and this is an episode zero, which means y'all get to choose my starters. Or starter, there's only one, I'm sure. Anyways, we're gonna get right into this, boys and goyles and those of a specified agenda. We are going to go ahead and click new game. Oh my god, I'm so excited. Wait. Okay, so that's what you gotta do. Um We could do custom and nuzlocke, but first I wanna do regular. I have never played through this game regularly. I am beyond excited for this. Are you sure you want to play on this mode? Heck yeah, dude! Uh, who is it? Oh, hello there. Welcome to the world of Pokemon. Oh my god, I, have, I picked the perfect voice. My name is Bambo. Uh, if you find that hard to pronounce, you can just call me the Pokemon Professor. You're the kid who's applying for a job, right? Great! Uh, want the lowdown on what you'll be doing? No info needed, my guy. Thanks, though. I appreciate it. That's adorable. That is a cat borb, and I love it. We humans share this world with creatures known as Pokemon. More than mere animals, Pokemon possess astonishing powers and remarkable intelligence. People of Pokemon coexist in many ways. Some Pokemon are kept as pets, others almost with work, and still others are used in battle by traitors such as yourself. Sounds good. Sounds intriguing, my dude. Well, there's so much we still don't know about Pokemon. That's my job. I study Pokemon for a living. Specifically, I'm an expert on Pokemon elements. Every Pokemon has an elemental type, but each type has its own strengths and weaknesses. But why do they exist? Are there new types we haven't discovered yet? I assume there is in this game. That is awesome. I'm saying that right now. And I barely watched any Pokemon um, Uranium when it came out because I didn't want to spoil myself on it because I knew I'd be able to get my hands on it somehow, and I did. Oh, okay, so I have a good idea of what one or two of the starters is, but that's it. Uh, but I'll tell you more at your first day on the job. P report to my lab tomorrow to get your first Pokemon. Now, if you'll just fill out this form here. Oh, Lord. Who are you? Yo, that's cool. They got a trans option. That's actually really cool. I approve Pokemon Uranium. Uh, I, however, though, am going to be that one guy from Blue's Clues that no one remembers. Thank you very much. Yes, I'm sure. My name is Gray. Thank you very much. And guys, this is not on a ROM. This in and of itself is its own game, which is another reason why I think it's just so cool. Okay, my name is Gray. Your name is Gray. Gray, are you ready? Your journey, your story is about to unfold. The future is a blank slate. You, together with your Pokemon, are going to fill it. There will be challenges and thrills, and you're bound to make exciting discoveries. Let's go. Sounds good. Wait. Ten years ago, Gray's family lived in Beale Beach City, the largest city in Tandor. Their father, Kellen, was a brave and talented Pokemon Ranger. Their mother, Lucille, was a brilliant scientist and an expert on nuclear energy. Although they both worked demanding jobs, they always found time to spend at home with young Gray. The Tandor region was at peace, and Lucille's company was working on a form of clean energy that would change the world. The future seemed bright, until... Uh-oh. It was an ordinary day at the nuclear power plant where Lucille worked. As a part of a routine inspection, they brought in a specialist to take a look at the electrical system. <coughs> Sorry, guys. Kind of breaks the immersion. Cameron, have you... Oh, wait. We need a voice for you. Yo, you're looking like Tatsumaki, though. I love it. Cameron, have you finished your diagnostics? Yes, I have. Everything seems to be working perfectly. This generator you designed really does its job well, Lucille. Excellent. If everybody has finished their work, we'll break for lunch. Uh, boss, you might want to take a look at this. Strange. The temperature readings are far higher than normal. Either we need to reset the thermometer, or... The reactor's leaking a massive amount of heat. It can't be the thermometer. I just checked that, so... Uh-oh. Oh, God! Explosions at nuclear power plants are never good! 
There must be a breach in the reactor. At this temperature, a few minutes, just a few minutes, we'll have a total meltdown. Everybody needs to evacuate now. Oh, Lord, he coming. Lucille, you'll have to leave, too. No! Lucille! Why? Why did you run in? Why? Why would you run in to an exploding power plant, ma'am? I don't understand. With Cameron's help, all the scientists were able to escape unscathed except Lucille. She was never seen again after that day. The radiation leaking from the broken reactor made the surrounding area uninhabitable for many years, foiling any attempt to try and search for her. Oh. Uh-oh. Repercussions in a Pokemon game! Oh my god! Okay. The loss of his wife had a profound effect on Kellen. His personality changed. He became cold and dedicated to his job. In time, he got promoted to chief of the Tandor Pokemon Rangers. However, he became too busy to care for his child. So young Gray was sent to live with their elderly auntie in Mokitown. Aww. Ten years passed. Auntie's health waned. Supporting a child was too much work for her. Fortunately, Ernest Bambo, the local Pokemon professor, was looking for a research assistant. Two kids from Mokitown applied, Gray and their child fr childhood friend, Theo. Can't speak today. It was common for youths of a certain age to receive a Pokemon and travel the region as a Pokemon trainer. And so Gray's journey began. Gray, come downstairs, you are late. Oh, yo, I'm, I'm, I'm going to give her an old lady voice for sure. Gray, sweetie, today is your big day, isn't it? I can't help but feel glum seeing my little one all grown up and leaving home. Oh, if only these old bones could do more so I that it could support us both. But we both know that you're ready for this. You and that boy, Theo. Always following in your footsteps, that one. You've always been so capable, but I wonder about him. He is younger, after all. I'm sure his father, Cameron, wouldn't allow him to go unless he was sure. Anyway, to celebrate your big day, I got you a present. Go ahead and open it. We got running shoes right off the bat! I love this game! Give me more, my guys! The instructions on the read to run, hold down Z, you can toggle auto run. In the menu, auto run too? Ah, I love it. I love Auto Run. That's one of the reasons that I love Heart Gold and Soul Silver. One, Pokemon walk behind you. Two, you get Auto Run in the game. Oh my God! And three, it's Johto. Come on, Johto is awesome. Anyways, <laughs> oh, don't mind me, sweetie. I'm just an emotional old lady. If only your father were here right now. Well, I'm sure he's proud of you too, and I'm positive you'll run into him during your adventure. Now I shouldn't keep you any longer. Say hi to that nice professor man for me, will you? I had to grab a drink so I didn't have a coffin fit. Sorry about that. And if you don't mind stopping by again after you get your first Pokemon, I'd love to see it. Good luck, sweetie. Now this is one person I don't mind coming down to see. <coughs> With my Pokemon. There we go. Now we got Auto Run on. There we go. We're fast, boys. Look at us run. Look at us go. Look at little footlets. Look at little nibble toes. It's awesome. Oh my god. I love it. Holy crap, this atmosphere is gorgeous! I love it so much! It's dangerous to go out without a Pokemon? Okay. Now I just gotta find his lab, I suppose. Um... What is- what are- Halt, uh, halt your progression! <laughs> what are you? I want to know! Children grew up so fast, not long ago it seemed like I was someone myself. Be sure to have fun on your journey! Will do. Now, what is this? Uh, route three ahead. Okay. Uh, okay. I have a feeling this is the right place, but I'm not sure. Oh, hello, Gray. Today is the day you and Theo receive your first Pokemon, isn't it? Theo certainly was excited. I imagine you must be too. I remember that day all those years ago. Yes, I was a Pokemon trainer just like you once. I'm retired now, of course, but I still remember what it was like. It's an auspicious day indeed. If you're looking for Theo, I'm afraid he's not here. He's already gone ahead to the Pokemon lab in the north of town. He's not very patient, so you should probably hurry along and join him. That's probably a good idea. You know what? We're going to say hello to our friend Theo in the north of the town. Oh, wait. Is this a specialized area just for the lab? 
Hey, wait up! Yo, it's Theo. What voice are we gonna give this mad lad? He is so small, he's a child! Is this youngster Joey with a red fire head? Yo, that's awesome. Now, the voice we're gonna give him, I think... Um... Ooh, that's a tough one. You know what? Oh, God. But I might... No, I'm not gonna save it. It's Theo! He's getting King Candy. Where do you think you're going, huh? You're trying to get to the lab before me so you can get the better Pokemon? Well, that ain't gonna happen. Because I'm gonna get the strongest one first. Try to keep up, Gray. Well, I'll try and keep up with you, Speedy Gonzalez, but I can't make any guarantees. Yo, wait. Are those starters or just regional Pokemon? Because those I know are regional Pokemon. I don't know about these guys, though. That's what I'm confuzzled on. Anyways, let's go into the lab and see what we can choose from to begin our journey. Hey, if it isn't Gray and uh, your friend. Tommy, was it? Honestly, Pops, can't you even remember my name? It's Theo! Theo! Right, right, Theo. You're just in time. Today is a very special day for both of you. Your first day is work as research field assistants at Bamboo's Research Lab's Pokemon. Because I can't speak, your job will have you traveling across Tandor, observing and capturing any different kinds of Pokemon to help with me with research on Pokemon ailments. I have three Pokemon here that will aid you on your journey. Before you get your starters, though, you will both take the Pokemon Trainer Aptitude Test. Wait, what?! Test! Test! I didn't study for any test! I thought you were gonna give us a rare, powerful Pokemon! Yo, this is gonna be episode one! Is this for our starters? I love it! Oh my god, it's like Mystery Dungeon! By the way, guys, I'm gonna be playing Mystery Dungeon on stream after Platinum. You guys are here for this on Halloween Spoop Town! It's a Spoop Town Spectacular! Oh god, I'm gonna post this first episode on Halloween, whether or not I get finished with um, Gaia by this time. Because this series is gonna start ASAP, because this game is already beautiful! Now, now, don't worry, it's not the kind of test you have to study for. It's just a way to determine what kind of Pokemon training you will be. Different starter Pokemon are better suited for different battling styles. Starter Pokemon will be your lifelong partner, so it's important for you to work well together. Yeah, yeah, I get it! Enough talking! I want to get my Pokémon! Trace Kid, you're not very patient, are you? All right, all right. If you want to know more about what's going on the test before we begin, you may talk to my aide. Now, Gray, are you ready to take the aptitude, uh, the trainer aptitude test? Yes, I am! Excellent, so without further ado, when you encounter a new kind of Pokémon in the wild, what's your first reaction? I hit the wrong button! God bless. Very good, both of you. Come on, that was easy! Give me a tougher one! Okay, next question then. Which of these CMs would you prefer to teach your Pokemon? Hyper Beam Protector, Hidden Power. Um, honestly, Hidden Power. Hey, Professor, what's a TM anyway? I'll tell you later. Let's move on with the next question, shall we? Which of the following Pokemon would win an all-out battle? Uh, Gyarados, Gliscor, or Ampharos? Um... God, that's... I know it's not Gyarados, because Gyarados doesn't have a good answer for Ampharos. But Gliscor and Ampharos could have good answers for each other. It depends on items and everything. Honestly, though, I'm voting Ampharos because I like it better than Gliscor. I can see either one. Is it possible to fail this test? No, it isn't. Now this is your final question, so answer it honestly. What is your motivation for becoming a Pokemon trainer? Becoming the very best, making new friends, exploring the region. Um, you know what? Mine is making new friends. I like to make new friends. The opportunity doesn't arise very frequently, but I like to do that myself. No question about it, I gotta be a Pokemon master! And nobody's gonna stand in my way! I like your- I dig your spirit yet! <laughs> well, that's it for the trainer after due test. Now it's time to analyze your results. Oh lord, he coming. Okay, I finished my analysis. Oh, what am I gonna get? Which one am I gonna get? Gray. Yes? You seem to be a trainer that is capable of many different strategies. You right. You prefer to adapt to overcome challenges in your path. 
That's right, too, actually. Your philosophy is probably to just go with the flow. That is not quite right. I'm a little too strict on my path to be just go with the flow. But I try my best. I try my best. Your calm, rational approach will come to aid you in the future. Calm and rational, this man says, for a balanced trainer like you. Elitox, my boy, the water type, I assume, because it's blue? Uh, I hope so. Go ahead and take it, Gray. Elitox is my boy! Oh, would you like to give a nickname to Elitox? Of course I would. Look at this good boy. Oh, what are we gonna name you? Um... I would name it Zappy, but I've done that so many times already. Um... How about... Lantern. There we go. Lantern, I like it! Hey, I'm tired of waiting! Greg got this daughter already, where do I get mine? I'm done analyzing your results, Theo. Mm. Mm. Uh-oh. Theo! Well, you certainly know what you want out of life. You're impulsive and patient and are most, care mostly about your own desires. But I said something else in you. Could it be the seed of greatness, the potential to transform yourself completely? Or maybe it's just that you're so young, I can't tell. Regardless, for a trainer like you, Raptor is the best pick. Wait, hold on. So he gets what we're strong against? Yes, my first Pokemon! Great, you have a Pokemon, and now I have a Pokemon too! You know what this means, right? We have to battle! Oh, play, he's not in the lab! Oh, I'm sorry, Bamboo. I can't control this child. Oh, God, his theme, though. I like his theme. His theme is very fitting. Rap torch, you say. Let me send in my lantern quick. Uh, ooh, water gun. I'm gonna throw down a water gun at this man. Use an ember on me? Nice try. It ain't gonna do diddly squat, boy. Holy crap. Yo. Either that's fire ground type or fire rock type, or lantern is just that much of a boss. Lantern gained 69 EXP. Noise. We defeated rival Theo. What? But I was supposed to win! But how? I'm supposed to be the best trainer ever! That's impossible! Good trainers never lose! I... I uh, Please don't cry, Theo! Here, I'll heal your Pokémon for you! Your Pokémon were healed. I, I want to be a beatable trainer. How come I couldn't win? I really, really want to win. Well, between your starting grays, theirs has the type advantage. Water beats fire, fire beats grass, and grass beats water. That's the elemental type triangle. Well, one of them at any rate. Learning to master each type matchups is an important part of being a trainer. No way, I want to do all that. How come Greg is this better starter? What? Well, this is fair. I'm going home. Oh, he took that harder than I hoped. But you should be so quick to judge him. He is just a kid after all. I expect he'll soon discover that training Pokemon isn't as easy as he imagined. I hope so, because that, that kid needs some help. I'm going out to the entrance route one by the edge of town. Bring Theo and I'll teach you both how to catch Pokemon. See you later, Gray. Oh my goodness. Okay. That was a long intro, but that was worth it in my opinion. Um, Pokemon. Let's check out our Pokemon, see what he's about. Water and electric type! That's what I thought he was! That's awesome! Mild nature, what does that mean? Yo, is that increased special attack? Bruh. 22 special attack IVs. I'm, I think these are IVs, at least. Uh, static. Its ability is static? My guy! This is a beast! I'm loving it, dude! I love it so much! Lantern, my boy! But I can tell my voice is going out, and I gotta wrap up the episode here, because I don't want to spoil too much for y'all before the actual series starts, so... 
Thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed today's episode, don't forget to leave a like and comment down below. Hit the subscribe button, hit the bell icon to be alerted whenever I upload a new video or challenge or start streaming. Thank you guys yet again. You guys are all beautiful people. You guys are amazing. You should feel amazing. And we will see you in the next episode. Goodbye!